Hello everyone, we are the Birds of Play and welcome aboard the Hype Hello Train, Destination Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition. In this video, we are going to be discussing our thoughts and expectations for the upcoming re-release of the first entry in the Crystal Chronicles sub-series of Final Fantasy games, which is only a couple of days away now. The game getting re-released for the PlayStation 4, the Nintendo Switch, as well as for both Android and iOS. At the end of the video, we will then give our ultimate Hype Hello score, ranging from 1 to 5 full Hype Hellos, depending on how excited we are for the game. So stick around for that. The train is leaving the station. Choo choo! And I'm here too. I can't wait to see how many Hype Hellos you give the game. Choo choo! So, I'm not actually all that familiar with Crystal Chronicle games. Only having played Crystal Chronicles My Life as a King and Crystal Chronicles My Life as a Dark Lord very briefly and, and actually just mostly by watching you play them on my old B. But I do remember you having the original on the GameCube. Is this a game that you are generally excited about getting to play again? First of all, for people who don't know, My Life as a King and Dark Lord are barely connected to the original GameCube game at all. I would go so far as to say that the most they have in common is the world setting and the art style. I remember playing the original Crystal Chronicles as a kid on my GameCube pretty vividly. I bought my GameCube from a young man online, and we met at a bus terminal for the exchange. With the console I got a Game Boy Advance converter to play Game Boy games on, the console and a handful of random games. One of them being Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. I knew nothing about the game and I had never heard of it, but that Final Fantasy logo is a pretty powerful thing, and I've played it non-stop for quite a while. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked to be able to play it again. For many, this game is of course going to be a great source of nostalgia, even tied into personal anecdotes and lived experiences, like you mentioned about making a shady console transaction at a, at a bus terminal. So it's interesting to see how our hopes and expectations might differ, us being representative of both demographics, first-time players and long-time fans. I for one only remember seeing the cover, and it's true that the Final Fantasy logo had me interested, so I'm excited to see whether this game adds anything to that great legacy. I've also heard good things about the music, and even that it rivals the music in some of the mainline titles, which is a pretty bold statement. But most of all, I'm excited for the multiplayer and the cross-platform play, since a good multiplayer experience is hard to come by these days. Yeah, this game seems to have a small but quite a dedicated following. I think precisely because how unique it is within the Final Fantasy universe. It's not part of the mainline series, but it does many things very well, such as music, art and world building. You mentioned that a good multiplayer experience is hard to come by these days. Well, Crystal Chronicles seemed to go out of its way to make multiplayer as convoluted and expensive as it could. I remember having to collect Game Boys and special Game Boy Link cables from myself and my friends because it was the only way to play the game together. You controlled the characters, battled and bought things all through a small, unlit screen on a Game Boy Advance. Once it was all up and running, it felt like quite the achievement with all these consoles connected together and cables running everywhere. But I'm happy to see that they plan on making multiplayer more accessible for everyone, without all the extra hardware and mind games. Yeah, yeah, the original game seems to have suffered from a case of Japan, being built around everyone having access to these consoles and, and having a large community of possible players. This probably also works in some other places, but with us living in Iceland, where the total population is limited to around 350,000 people, so it must have been particularly difficult to get the most out of the multiplayer. This time around, things might be a bit easier. Firstly, by allowing cross-play between all platforms, and also since Square Enix is releasing a light version that lets other players play the game as long as one of them has bought the full version. There is apparently no local couch co-op, which many people take issue with, but I'm hoping that the cross-platform element and the light version will make that factor inconsequential. Luckily, Game Boys were very popular here at the time, thanks to Pokemon. So gathering up all the equipment needed wasn't terribly difficult. I am disappointed that there is no local multiplayer, as that was a very big part of the original game. But times have changed, I guess. Square seems to be trying to make the multiplayer very robust and easy though, so that's a plus. Is there anything you're particularly looking forward to when it comes to the game? Not having played the original at the time? 
I just figured that the cross-platform play would enable us to play both locally and in different places, but maybe I'm misunderstanding something fundamental about how the game worked simultaneously on the GameCube and the Game Boy Advance. But what I'm most excited about, aside from seeing how the multiplayer plays out and whether it will be an enjoyable experience, is to see to what extent I would be willing to label this as a true Final Fantasy game. I've heard that the music is good, so that would tick one of my boxes, but the art style, even though it's somewhat compelling, is fairly generic, as if the characters were Final Fantasy's version of Nintendo Mii's. What sort of narrative and world building will these characters be able to deliver, and how will it feed into my more general love for Final Fantasy? So I guess you could say I'm a bit skeptical about falling for the game, but at the same time hoping that it will prove me wrong. The only thing I'm sold on is this guy. This guy looks just as cool as he did on the cover 17 years ago. Well, if you're looking for a deep and engaging story in this title, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. The plot is quite thin, as the game is in essence a Final Fantasy branded dungeon crawler. You crawl through a dungeon to gain access to equipment to be able to crawl through more difficult dungeons. This is still the core gameplay loop, and most likely won't change since this new release is merely cosmetic as far as we know. That being said, there's plenty one can find to like in the locales and characters, and after all you are still saving the world, which should be reward enough for any daring adventurer. So I for one am excited to pick it up again and see how differently I experience the game this time around. I'm looking forward to playing it at least. Best case scenario, I will discover a game that has been missing from my life for way too long. And worst case scenario, I will learn more about the Final Fantasy franchise as a whole. So should we end the video by giving our high pedal score, ranging from 1 to 5 high pedals? <laughs> yeah, I guess it's time for that moment. Um, I give this release 3 high pedals and half a shoe puff. I am moderately excited about picking the game up again after all these years, but I'm still unsure if my favorable memories of the game are because of the game itself, or the sense of accomplishment and community I got from the multiplayer. I'll second the three high pedals and half a shoe puff. So there you have it. We give Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles three high pedals and half a shoe puff. The hype hello is real. Thank you for watching our new series, Get Hype Hello'd. As you probably know, every great series starts with a pun, and we think we nailed it this time. Please give us your high pedal score down in the comments below, and make sure to subscribe for even better puns and content. Also, be on the lookout for more coverage on Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles once the game releases. Until next time. Right, the shoe puff. <laughs> <laughs> You think shoe puffs like birds? Yes, indubitably. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>